other dragons, the five multi-millionaire investors on their way to the den. There, tonight, they'll once again make or break the business dreams of dozens of budding entrepreneurs. I think it will be years before your business will generate a million pounds in profit. I just don't think you've thought this through. This is just not a business. If, if you think you're going to get an investment from me, you are living in fantasy land. I love it. <laughs> the Dragons have all it takes to be successful. Five of Britain's most enterprising and wealthy business people, they've all built up their own fortunes from scratch. James Kahn made his millions building a global business in the recruitment industry, and he now heads an international private equity firm. The £200 million business empire of Glaswegian entrepreneur Duncan Bannatyne includes hotels, casinos and health clubs. Deborah Meaden earned her fortune in the holiday and leisure industry in the West Country. Theo Pafitis is a retail magnate who's transformed the fortunes of high street brands like Ryman, La Senza, Partners and Contessa. And one of Britain's best-known entrepreneurs, Peter Jones, has built up a multi-million pound empire with a business portfolio that ranges from telecoms and leisure to property and media. In the den, the dragons are ready to back the right businesses with their own money. But tonight, will anyone convince them to invest? Once again, more nervous entrepreneurs have gathered here in the Dragon's Den. They've all got business ideas they think could make their fortunes, but every one of them needs cash backing for their venture. Our multi-millionaire Dragons are prepared to invest, but remember they're risking their own money, so they'll only go for the very best ideas. How will our first entrepreneur fare under the Dragon's scrutiny? Hello, my name is Max McMurdo and I'm here today to pitch for £50,000 for 10% of my business, Restore Limited. Restore was established in 2002 whilst I was designing cars in Cologne, Germany. The intention was to return to the UK and um, educate the British public and show them that environmental products needn't be a compromise in terms of style, quality and above all desirability. Um, since 2002 I've designed a range of 18 products now on the website three of which you see here today, Annie the shopping trolley chair, Silvana the washing machine drum table and Gordon the wheelbarrow chair. Our latest product is Ben the bin. Now he is a stackable portable um, recycling bin for the household that uses a standard supermarket carrier bag. As with all the products I needed to gauge some feedback from the public so we took Ben the bin along to Grand Designs exhibition last year and the response was excellent. We took several orders from private customers a number of um, shops were very interested in placed provisional orders and then a councillor came along and suggested that he'd like a price for 500, 1,000 and 10,000 units for the bin and since then another five councils are very very interested in at least trialling and then rolling out to all of their residents. To summarise, Restore is going from strength to strength and I've seen such a change in consumer attitudes, it's unbelievable. Now selling these pieces to Saatchi and Saatchi, Selfridges, Topshop, Ecova, all the big names are now interested. The industry is there, people are ready to take these on as a product and sales are there to be made. Thank you for listening, I hope you've got lots of questions. Green designer Max McMurdo is offering a 10% stake in his Restore business in return for the £50,000 investment he needs to launch his latest eco product. Ben the recycling bin. Deborah Meadon wants to know if Max has sold any bins yet. Max, you've talked about the local authorities. That's right. Have you got an order from them or are you just talking to We've them? I've got three letters of intent. For how many items? Um, I've got two for 500, which would be the trial. The trial is a difficult bit to pass. Once you've got a trial from one council, you can roll on to all the neighbouring councils. And what are they doing with them? 
particularly with high density housing and multi-occupancy where there's flats, there's no current system to get your empty milk bottle down into the, the big communal bin at the bottom. So they're going to give them as a freebie, like you get a composting bin and your wheelie bin, this would be the next version of bin to be rolled out and distributed to all the houses. Are they made they of are, recycling? The, these are actually the prototypes, and these are the ones that were produced from a sheet of polypropylene. Now, the actual units that we can get for £1.50 are 100% recycled, but due to that, they're black. Max seems to have impressed Deborah Meaden with his eco-credentials. Now, Duncan Bannatyne decides to take a closer look at Max's furniture and recycling bin. This is just a piece of plastic. Yeah. And you're going to sell it for how much? For £1.50. Nobody will notice it's just a piece of plastic. Is I'm that your sure idea? I will, if you wish to look at it in that respect. As I said, just as the shopping trolley chair is just an old shopping trolley. Can, can, can I just say, I'm a bit worried because if I started putting things in there. It just worries me the carry bags would just collapse. The There's items no you tend to recycle are empty milk bottles, egg cartons, paper. They don't tend to be breeze blocks or bricks. Reading my anything. money. <laughs> Oi. That's okay. You just throw my money away. So the intention is then you'd carry that down because it's portable. You carry that down to right. your recycling bin and dispose of it and separate your waste accordingly. The young designer has proved that Ben the Bin is sturdy enough for most jobs. But Peter Jones thinks he spotted a flaw in Max's pitch. Max, Max, I, I, I've got a bigger issue with all of this. Right. And that is that you're selling the concept that this is not just from a recycling perspective very good, but you're selling this as an eco product. But you are far away from being an eco product because you're putting in that eco product one of the biggest problems in this country right now called the plastic carrier bag. Eight billion a year are being produced.